Hello and welcome. I'm here on the Right Question Institute website, rightquestion.org, and today I'm going to show you my top three places for finding resources to use the question formulation technique or QFT in the classroom. So when you come to our home page, the first place I would go is to this resources tab. And when you arrive on the page, you'll see that there's a bar saying, what is the QFT? That's place number one. So this is a really great overview, overview page. It's an introduction to what the QFT is. So it's got a description and then two really helpful videos on what the QFT looks like in action with students and adults and takes you through each of the steps of the process. So this is great if you are new to the QFT. If you already know the QFT, place number two is to go for, to the resources for teaching and learning. So you can get there through that button, or you can just go straight to this drop down menu and click teaching and learning. This is really the catch all page for all of the resources that we have um, for doing the QFT in the classroom. So I would suggest using this top paragraph. Um, these are hyperlinked to lead you to different parts of the page. If you click start, it leads you to the top three resources for using the QFT in the classroom. If you don't look at anything else, look at these. Um, there's a guide, there's a lesson planning workbook, which takes you step by step through planning your own lesson with the QFT. And then this QFT PowerPoint template is really ready to go for you. You just have to put your Q focus in and then you can pull it up the next day and use it with your students. One thing I want to show you is that if you are not logged into our website, when you click on a resource, it's going to ask you to sign up. Um, so you can just click register and all that is is email, password, and area of interest and then create my account. Everything on this website is available for free to use, adapt, share, however you please um, when you register for um, the RQI network. There's a section with some helpful handouts. I really love the QFT on one slide. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's a PDF one pager of the QFT process. It's the simplest version, and this is really good to just print out, laminate, and stick up on your wall um, in case you ever forget the steps. The QFT outline is a student worksheet version of the QFT, which is also really helpful. And uh, as you can see in this section, there are resources for every subject area. I want to point out one thing, which is that each of these has a link to download examples. And this is really great if you're looking for key focus ideas. What it is is just a collection of real lessons that teachers have done with the QFT. And so it's really good for at a glance key focus ideas. And it actually shows you what questions and student work came out of those. We have a section for um, feature content, which is sort of what's new. Here we have how to do the QFT with Padlet. Um, that's because we have uh, new remote learning resources. You can find that whole page up here. The Hone Your Skills section is for when you've done the QFT once or twice and now you have some questions and you want to refine your skills a little more. I highly recommend using the QFT with special student populations. It's a compilation of a bunch of tips from seasoned QFT users and teachers and librarians all around the country. There are resources in other languages. And finally, I want to show you this section looking for something more specific. There's a lot on here, but if there were any subject areas above that weren't covered, for example, or languages or visual arts, um, or if you're looking for something that goes well with um, standards like the C3 frameworks or NGSS, or you're using the QFT with PBL, this is your place to find specific resources like those. So finally, the third place I'm going to take you is our events page. For every single event we do, we post a page and we also post all the PowerPoints and materials from that. So I'm going to recommend that you head to webinars. In particular, in the past few months, we've had um, several webinars on how to do the QFT virtually, and they're all recorded. So let's say I go into Engage Students Virtually with the QFT and Padlet. You can click into it, I can find the recording, and I can find the PowerPoint from that event, which could be really helpful if I'm trying to conduct a 
professional development of my own on the QFT. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to always check back at our homepage, check out our banners um, to see what's upcoming and the same thing on our teaching and learning homepage. And I hope you enjoy.